Hi guys, it's Learn to Code here, and welcome to the first video in my series on how to use Dart language for uh, web development. So, first thing we're going to do here is a Hello World um, application. So, I'll start off by making a folder just to write this in. Uh, so, Hello World will be our working folder. Now, the first thing that we're going to write um, using a text editor. I use Vim, just my favorite text editor, but you can use whatever you want, um, is the pub spec file. So pub is a, pack is a package manager for the Dart language. Um, it should, if you've installed Dart, you should have pub as well. Um, and we're just writing a pub spec file to ensure that we have all of the packages that are required to um, write web pages and interactive web pages using Dart. So let's write this file. So uh, vim pubspec.yaml. And then the first thing we need to do is the name of the application. So for this, it is just hello world. <coughs> then a description. Really, this can be whatever you want. Um, I'm just going to put. Uh, Blah. Um, then version, you probably don't really need to modify this unless you're actually um, publishing this uh, application to a package repository, in which case it would be important. Um, so then the next thing we need to do is define the environment, so that means setting up the SDK. Um, which we will do as uh, greater than or equal to uh, Dart one SDK version 1.2.1 and um, less than 2.0.0. Okay. So then we also need to list the dependencies. So dev dependencies. Um, right, so for dependencies, dev dependencies, we need the browser package. Um, and we want uh, probably this version, which is 0.10.0. Um, it may be a higher version for you, just check on the um, package details. And then we want the Dart to JavaScript script rewriter, and this will just take our Dart um, scripts and rewrite them as um, JavaScript, which is handy because um, it makes writing JavaScript a lot easier. And you get to use the whole object-orientated programming paradigm that you get with Dart. Um, and then just in transformers, you want to put Dart to JL, JS script rewriter there as well. And do not forget um, this hyphen here. That's very important. Otherwise, pub won't like it um, because the transformers have to come as a list. So what you want to do then is type pub get. And it should resolve dependencies, get them. And also, if you've got any errors in your pub spec file, now is the time that you'll find out. Okay, so it's got my dependencies, it's pre-compiled them, that's all sorted. So the next thing that you want to do is write um, the index file. So uh, what you want to do first is make a subdirectory within your working directory called web. Go into web, then using your text editor, um, just create a file called index.html. Uh, pretty simple web page. All we're going to do is uh, let's make sure it's HTML compliant. Create head. And then what we need to put in here is um, two scripts. So we want main.dart, which is the main um, 
basically the, the Dart application that we're about to write. So we'll call it main.dart. Um, really, you don't have to type main.dart in there. It's whatever you've called your application um, and where your point of entry is. Then we also want to include um, packages and we want the browser package. So browser and then just dart.js and that will ensure that our browser can actually run the Dart script. So then you want to go into the body and actually we should put a title element in here. Let's just call it hello world. Okay, and then in the body, uh, just create a div with an ID of output. All right. So then the actual thing, um, the actual Dart script now. So all you need to do is open your text editor, create main.dart or whatever you call the script in index.html. And the first thing you want to do is import um, Dart. Uh, sorry, that was some C++ stuff there. Uh, Dart HTML. So then after that, all you need to do is create your main function, which is simple. You don't need to bother about classes here because this is a very simple application. And then you want to use the query selector feature of Dart, um, which just lets you select a specific element on the page based on ID or class. So we put this little hashtag in front of output to signify that it's an ID that we're looking for. And we want to change the text property of that element uh, to hello world. So we now go back into our working directory and we type pub serve web. Okay, so now uh, there's a test server set up on uh, my local host. So let's go to it in Firefox. Uh, right. Local host port 8080. Now you'll notice that the first time that you open the um, page in a browser, um, Pub will compile. So the first request takes a while. And that's why when you're making something uh, that you intend to go into production, you really want to ensure that you actually build it rather than, um, rather than uh, doing a um, Pub serve setup. So here we go, Hello World, everything that you need to know to make a simple Hello World application um, that serves a web page with Hello World written on it. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe.